What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I got headphones on. Yeah, that's right. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is the Night Before back in the studio. It's been a while since I've been in front of the camera like this. Uh, been doing podcasts the last couple weeks. We've had amazing guests the last couple weeks. Awkward Arsic, uh, um, League of Extraordinary Bloggers, SoCal Exploring, all those great uh, YouTubers. Uh, links in the description below. Go check them out. But that's not what this video is about today. This video is about an HHN announcement that got announced Sunday at Monster Palooza. Um, so without further ado, let's just get this video started. Good evening. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so as you guys know by now, at Monster Palooza they announced the new scare zone that will be at HHN uh, 2018, at least for Hollywood that is. Um, and this scare zone has a, like a little of a, an interesting um, like uh, way to it because it, it's supposed to, it's called Holidays from Hell, of course with the holidays uh, being with the end of the Z. Uh, and John Murdy actually touched on that a little bit, he said it, it started out with a... Uh, uh, you know, a, a copyright uh, thing to do because you know a lot, a lot of people use those names. But then people started getting pissed off that they were putting Z's at the end, so he just started doing it to piss off people, which I thought was kind of funny. It never really bothered me, but um, that's that. Uh, and they announced this scare zone. It looks pretty cool. So it's going to start from New Year's and go all the way till uh, Christmas. It's supposed to be each holiday, and each holiday has their own different um, their own different uh, theme as far as uh, where it's gonna, you know, what's gonna happen and stuff like that. So, you know, they start with New Year's, it's supposed to be, I guess, New Year's babies. Um, and then they go down uh, Valentine's Day, it's supposed to be Cupid, but he looks all like uh, d uh, demonic and stuff like that. Uh, of course, a leprechaun for St. Patty's Day, Easter Bunny for Easter, um, Mr. or, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Mr. Sam or something like that for 4th of July. Um, what is it then, uh, I think it's Halloween. So they're doing something like Dia de los Mortos and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know what they're doing for Thanksgiving. I think that's the Dia de los Mortos one uh, for kind of like a Thanksgiving thing. Uh, then they got, of course, Krampus for Christmas, and then they're going to end it with Father Time as the kind of end thing. Uh, the Scare Zone is going to be taking place in the uh, metro area set. So when you get right when you get uh, into the metro area, that little Scare Zone where Urban Inferno was last year, that's where they're going to have this maze at this year, and I, I have to say I'm kind of excited for this because last year Urban Inferno was, in my opinion, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I had to go through it at least five times just to finally get uh, scare actors because like the first three times I went there, there was uh, it was daytime, so there wasn't no really scare actors, but when I went in there, it was actually really cool. I liked the whole atmosphere of it. Um, they actually brought out the guy uh, I want to say like the makeup artist or something like that, that one of the design artists for Halloween Horror Nights on the panel and he talked a little bit about um, the maze it's, or the you know the scare zone itself so I'm a little excited for that that's that's really cool that we're getting a new scare zone um, another original concept scare zone I'm liking that they're doing that every year they're, they're kind of pulling out of the purge and and walking dead and, and going into like more back back to their roots back to the original stuff which I really enjoy um, one thing I wish they would do and bring back is the uh, scare zone between uh, the mummy queue uh, or you know the mummy and uh, transformers that whole walkway that'd be uh, a really good opportunity for another scare zone I think the last time they did a scare zone there was like Silent Hill or uh, Skulls, or I don't remember. There was one of them that they did, but, but it was like back in 2012, 2013. I wish they would really bring that scare zone back, but only time will tell. I don't know how they want to do the budget this year. Uh, another thing that got announced at Monster Palooza was the location for the Stranger Things maze, and we got a confirmation that it's going to be in a soundstage in Soundstage 29 that is located right next, uh, right in back of uh, the Transformers uh, ride. So, um, if you guys know the area where they did uh, the Walking Dead one year, where it was supposed to be like the longest maze yet. Um, it was right there by the Transformers ride. Um, they're going to have a uh, soundstage, which is Soundstage 29. They said it's currently empty, and uh, they're going to put Stranger Things in there, which I'm kind of really excited for because um, that gives them opportunity to play with weather and lighting and stuff, and they get to control the environment, so I think that's a very good idea for them to do it. We haven't seen a, a soundstage maze since Black Sabbath 
no, no, no. And since AVP, uh, and honestly, all the soundstage mazes that they've done from Black Sabbath to Alien vs. Predator were really good. Um, I hope that they continue to uh, try to push more soundstage mazes in the future because, like I said, they have control of lighting and weather. And uh, like, if if you go, if you're one of those people who do early, who does early entry, which I am. Um, you want to go through the maze and enjoy it. Well, when it's sunny outside and you go through the maze, it's really dark and it's hard to see, and it kind of ruins the whole effect of the maze. Um, so I, I really like that they're doing the soundstage, especially with Stranger Things. You have like the upside down and and like stuff like that, and you want to you want to control that environment. So I'm really excited to see how this maze is going to turn out in general. I, I was so stoked when they announced this maze because uh, since season one, I've been wanting to see this as a maze and stuff like that. So. That's pretty much it for all the Monster Palooza news. If there's any more Halloween Horror Nights news, you know who to come to. I will cover it. I will give you my thoughts about it and stuff like that. Um, guys, I'm back in a way. Um, I'm not going to be doing the podcast for a while because it's kind of hard to get George over here to do it. So um, I'll probably just keep uh, blowing out content for you guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to tune in again this week. I am going to put out the first Outlast gameplay. I'm actually in the process of recording it right now. So should be pretty cool. You're going to see all my live reactions. I'm not going to really edit anything. The only thing I'll edit is like pictures or something to put in or um, like something stupid or something like that. But other than that, it's going to be raw, uncut footage. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the continuous support and I will see you guys in the next one.